Hey everybody, my name is Kitamaru back for another video of Guardians of the Galaxy. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, that is. Uh, right now, we're just supposed to talk to Cosmo. Uh, but I also have this thing right here uh, that one is interested in. So, whatever that is, the component, whatever that it was talking about. Uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, I kind of been interested. So, I'm just going to go see really quick. So, what is that? I don't know what that is. Put away, I guess. I don't know what that thing is. Uh, what about this? Is that what uh, I was talking about? Got some new stuff, I guess. Gamora. Hey. Is that Corral's Galactic War commendation? Yeah. It is. I rescued it from her office. I was planning to give it back to her until. No one could have predicted that Corral was dead, or that Nikki would be the matriarch. Or that she might be my kid. That too. She's gonna have questions and I don't even know where to begin. How did you and mom hook up? Why weren't you around? Did you even want me? Ugh, I've become my dad. Do you want to practice on me? Answering her questions? Do we want to practice? Absent father? War crust lovers? Uh, end the conversation? Uh, well, I told Nikki some of it, I guess. I already told Nikki some of the story. But not all of it. What was I supposed to say? Hey, kid, I hooked up with your mom. I might be your dad. Maybe not that. I mean, it was war. I was with the Ravagers hitting Shatari supply chains. You know, pirate stuff. None of us had any long-term plans beyond survival. Especially not kids. Hell, I only met Corel because I heard Earth was in Shatari's crosshairs. Mercury, yeah, I remember. Richard Ryder established an outpost in the planet's surface. An undermanned, undergunned, and horribly outnumbered outpost that didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell when the Shatari launched a sneak attack. Obviously, I had to do something. Nikki would understand that, I think. It was so close, Gamora. By the time I convinced Yondu to help, the outpost had fallen. We thought we were too late, so when Corel and her squad came out of those caves, she was just so badass. The forces had been through the ringer, but she wasn't about to give up Mercury without a fight. That definitely sounds like the Corel I remember. I tried to convince Yanu to stay and help retake the outpost, but he saw no profit in dying, so I stayed instead. We spent hours strategizing together, often late into the night. It took three days to come up with a counterattack, and even then, it was risky. We thought we were gonna die. But you didn't. No. We didn't. And now... Now I have to figure out how to tell my estranged kid her mother's dead. That's rough. Uh, absent father Corel could have told me about Nikki's year, uh, Nikki years ago. Yeah, she could have told me. I don't understand why she didn't. Uh, why is she trying to hide that from me? I mean, come on now. Never it's kind of a rough me. one right there. She had a chance to tell me three years ago and she didn't. What happened? You have to promise not to judge me too harshly. Can't promise that. I love judging people. <laughs> Fine. Corel maybe kind of caught me with a kidnapped 12-year-old girl. What? Yeah, I can see why Corel wouldn't have mentioned Nikki. It's not like that. I didn't kidnap the kid, Yondu did. I told him it was wrong, that we had to give her back, and he disagreed. So I stole the Milano, and I was trying to return her when Corel just happened to intercept me. Uh huh. Look, after the Galactic War ended, Corel and I went our separate ways. I rejoined the Ravagers, and she joined the Nova Corps. It's not like we had a future together. When she caught me with the kid, when I saw the disappointment in her face, I knew I had to turn over a new leaf. Even if it meant turning in Yondu. You're the reason Yondu's in the kiln? No wonder there's a bounty on your Earth name. Damn, he pissed. turned on him. But Yo, he's a snitch. Over. I don't like this. Starler is a snitch, boys, really? Nikki, and she didn't. If I had known, maybe... The important thing is that you know now. Yeah. Anyway, until we get Nikki back, we've got bigger fish to fry. This stuff can wait. True. 
But when you are ready to talk about it, just be honest with her. The rest will fall into place. Yeah. You're probably right. Look at Gamora being a good friend, boys. Alright, so that was the uh, commendation thing they were talking about. It's just me talking to Gamora, I guess. That's all it is. Okay. Fine by me. Let me talk to the rest of the crew. I already talked with Rocket. I don't know what, uh, where Drax is at. And uh, Drew Groot either. So, we're going to have to find that out. But um, we do have Gamora Watch right there. Peter. Let's talk to her really quick again. Peter. Now she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. How funny. Check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Want to talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Retreat? Okay, fine then. Just take care. Break into a song. Oh yeah, let's just break it into a song. Why not? Okay. That's the, definitely something you would do. All right. No talking. Let's some, sing it definitely out. something Peter would do, boys. Oh, 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 who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat. Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it. Shooting at the walls of... What the, the walls of fuck is that space llama doing? Oh shit! Let's go! They're both singing. That's All crazy, right. man. That I was like awesome. That I like that. What did you want to talk about? Uh, leave her be. Actually, my job is here. Uh, here is done. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Just made her sing and leave as afterwards. Let's just ask about Raker. We're here, right? We want to talk about her uh, with her talk. There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... <sighs> we can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise? I got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? I'm moving. I'm moving. All right. Chill. Well, I'm just going to assume that they're okay. I'm just going to talk to... Oh, there he is. There's Groot, boys. How about you, bud? You doing okay? <laughs> He's affirmative. Okay. Leave it at that. Uh, are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff sure? in there. Exactly. I'm going to be the good captain right here. I'm going to make sure everybody's all right. Yeah. Maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> well, you did find that funny. Talk about it, though. I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. All right. All right, buddy. Don't worry about it. Uh, I don't know where Drax is though, really don't know, and uh, it's gonna take too long for me to figure it out. So let's just go ahead and uh, make the call already. All right, so how do we call him? Oh, there he is. Cosmo, buddy, where have you been? We've been calling you. I'm sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmo's bow has been tied. What do you mean? Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. Oh, you shitting me? They're at nowhere now. Detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Oh well, Cosmo is Cosmo, not happened? doing good right now. We ask us to go to Xandar. What the f Who is- Oh, come on. Really? I guess they're gonna make the job easy for us, then. So these are the 
powers through the files Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh. Are you again? It's you guys. Contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> sure. Uh, lethal, lethal Legion. legion. Okay, like dude. Legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. You will not elude me. That I can assure you. I just need a few minutes. Stall him, Quill. Stall him? Oh my oh. god. Alright, here we go. Time to stall him, boys. Doing my best uh, Peter Quill imp you, impression right there. You me. Identify with uh, glory. Focus on the bounty. Uh, how much is Lady H offering? Cool merc name. Hey, I used to run with that, with a uh, with a merc name as well. Lethal Legion. Cool merc name. I used to run with the Ravagers myself. We are far superior to you and your Ravagers, Terran scum. The Lethal Legion is composed of the best warriors the universe has ever seen. Hey, look, and you, okay. I get it. You're Fine. The best of the best. You're the captain of a super elite team. I'm the captain of a elite team. Some of us are super elites. <laughs> sure. Like Whatever you say, Gamora. I am Glabry of the Kree Empire. My birthright alone supersedes any sense of worth you foolishly believe you possess. Spoken like a true Kree. <laughs> More like an arrogant a -hole. What the fuck is he doing? Enough. What? The, what is Rocket doing? You will be eliminated. Oh, he's good. All right, that was good enough. The Milano's gonna blow you out of the sky. Your ship doesn't have that kind of firepower. Oh, you think? Hiding Rocket's illegal contraband paid off. He's upgraded the Milano's weapon system. Oh shit! We did the good thing, boys. This is why they need the illegal stuff. Saving our ass. See, boys? Thinking like a true merc, thinking like a true mercenary and stuff, pays off in the end. Keep the keep the stuff. You never know when you're gonna need it. All right, all right. I guess we're we're playing Star Wars now, boys. We're just shooting a bunch of dudes. What the hell am I doing, though? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's how you do it. There we go, just kill these bastards. Kill these bastards. Do we actually have... Oh, we do have some... Uh... Yeah, this is, reminds me a lot of... Uh, of uh, Sotor, boys. It's exactly like playing Sotor in... Um, uh, in the Galactic Zone space or whatever, the ability... Okay, fight. Except it's a bunch of bots this time around, so... At least I'm not fighting... Uh, not fighting humans. Which is makes it a little bit easier. Got him. All right, there you go. Got him right there. Okay, so oh, we got. Oh, we got another dude right there. Watch out now. Gotta get him. Gotta get this one. Watch out now. Okay, so we got another one right here. Okay. Watch out. Whoa, now. Shit. Oh, this is bad. We're losing a lot of health. Uh, watch out. We're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna have to go after him. It's, it's tough to uh, to really control though. It's really tough, tough control, boys. Let me go after him really quick. Okay, we gotta get closer to uh, to this one. All right, good, good, good. Well, I don't know where. Uh, okay, I think I dealt with all of them. Good. I'm picking up something. What? What the hell is? I'll have to finish this myself. Is that a bomber? So you defeated my fighters. My cruiser. It's a cruiser. But you got frigates as well. We're literally playing Star Wars, boys. What the? Whoa now! Are you shitting me? Whoa now! No 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 no! Don't. Okay. How about we just? We need to handle this. Grenades! Grenades! Uh, how do we? Oh, right, there we go! There we go! Watch out! There we go! Got it right there. There's some mines right there. Watch out! You put some mines in there. Gotta flip around, boys. Oh, this is not good. 
Whoa, he's, he's right there. Okay, he's right there. All right, so we got to really shoot. Oh, fuck. He's really, like, shooting. There we go. There we go. There we go. Put the missiles on him, boys. Got to send the missiles on him. There we go. Good job. Look at all these goddamn minefields and stuff. Oh, this is not good. Just going to get rid of the minefields. Oh, watch out now. Yeah, our ship is not doing too good, boys. Whoa, no, you don't. All right, uh, let me uh, shoot my way through right there. There we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're going to be fine. We're literally playing a Star Wars game right now. It's crazy. Okay. He went away again. This guy is annoying. Watch out now. Okay. We're going to use the boost right there. And let me, let me shoot my way through right there. All right, go, 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 go. All right, good. And now we're about to handle him. Okay. There's more of him right there. Okay, so where did he go now? I don't know where he went, boys. We're about to find out in a second, though. No, you don't. Woo! We did it. All right, good. I think we killed them, boys. I doubt we've seen the last of her. Don't worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. And yeah, now we gotta go to Zendar. We handled that thing real fast. That was an interesting uh, gameplay right there. It really did yeah. remind me of when I used to play uh, Sortor for the space missions no and stuff. Very similar, boys. Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open channel, group. Let's see what's going on. Ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Group. Bunch of refugees, That's huh? Enough. Is Nova is the Nova Corps dead or something? They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Group. <sighs> Let's call the station, boys. Now, yeah, if they're not going to answer, tell Please state your language, language, language selection. Why would I ask for any of these language? That's got to be Cree or something. Cree, Quill, I'm going to gnaw your ears off. I'm not going to pick Cree. Don't worry about standard galactic. I want to understand what the hell's written down, yeah, obviously. Follow along with Star Pants mistakes. How, How may we assist you? Uh, criminal offense offenses? Join the Corps? Office officer directory? Uh, criminal offenses. Don't touch that! What the hell? The hey, man! No I was trying to find something right there. I want to see criminal offenses. Don't How touch that. Okay, pay a fine. How about we pay the fine as well? There we go. Banking service. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord, and uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey, we're here to pay our debt, and also we need your help. To pay a fine? No, no, of course not. You need to save the galaxy. Cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the promise is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy, all lost. Of course, that went quick. They. Actually, the world mind's collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can, can we, we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you. 
Reject conclusion? Share the intel. We have intel you can use to take them down. Of course it can't be stopped. Uh, there we go. Let's do that. That's bullshit and you know it. Groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird for starters. He's still alive. Because I know how to groom the feathers. Okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> this guy. I know where you can buy hack Nova Core helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We, we have, have overlooked, overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within, within our files. files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is ill-advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. What a bunch of jerks. Appeal to the duty? You have a duty to protect this galaxy? Where are you going to? Okay, you know, you have a pro uh, duty to protect this goddamn galaxy. Just a bunch of jerks. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads. We do not have a duty to protect this galaxy. We merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only ourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. You have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It would be a pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons, the church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot can adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings call out their cowardice, put in their space. The Nova Force doesn't seem logical either. You're scared. You know what? Put on some perspective. We're gonna play this the smart way. The magical energy that powers Nova Core it is not magical, but yes. Then, how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The living computers of Xandar are the Nova Force. It exists because we exist. And we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Breaker with other people's faith. Maybe you're the just you the same. Tell you how the church does. There's no much different than the church. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the galaxy, we will. Later. You planted a seed of doubt in world's mind logic routines. All right, well there we go. We did a good job then. Decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our data banks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? And who would be da uh, that be? Who? I am Warlock. Warlock? The church's original golden god. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Wait, he's dead? So no one? Adam Warlock's yeah. dead. Are you sure about that? We the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, no Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Well, he just up and Classic left. No Great. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? 
Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. What do we do now? I mean, confirm the uh, confirm the payment. I don't have oh, galactic units. I have seven thousand. I don't have enough. Uh, yeah, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. We don't have enough money though. We have Come seven thousand. Really? I knew it. I knew you spent Lady Hellbender's money in nowhere. You saw me. You were there. I was watching your back. Great. All the way to Seknarf and back, and nothing to show for it. I'm sorry, all right? Peter, we've got Oh movement. my god, did I really... Oh, They're this is off. bad. This is really bad, boys. Well, we don't have enough money to pay the fine, and now this is... This is just great. Now, the Nova Corps is just leaving away. They're just leaving everybody behind. I said, fuck this. That's just great. Well, well I see it. <sighs> Son of a schmack. Well, there they are, I guess. They were real quick about this one. Oh shit, real just like that. That thing's OP, man. That's that, that's just not Accepting the promise. That's not good. And they said we gotta find out them warlock somehow. They they said he was dead, but I don't believe it. We could probably always go to Earth as well. I mean, all the heroes, maybe the Fantastic Four, the Avengers can help us. I mean, we need some help right here. The loser legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. Are you Groot? Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? Guys, we're guys, guys chill. I don't know where we are. Guys, chill out. Oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care. Just fix, fix the it. damn thing. Do your thing, man. That's your that that's your job. Fix the goddamn Stop. ship and stop talking. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just can't do this right now. I need some rest. All right, let's let's get out, boys. Let's leave the chair. My goodness, they stop arguing like crazy babies. It's annoying, man. Now, where are we at? We're in the middle of nowhere in the space. This is not good. We don't know where we are, boys. Like, there's no planet visible in sight. No, uh, no spaceports, no nothing. Gotta fix the ship so we can go jump back into, uh, into the whole thing. This is really bad. Uh, everything's going bad. Shut up, Gamora. What is your problem now? Unbelievable. Look, we're stuck. But we're going to find a way out. This is what we do. All right, so we're going to leave the video right here, boys, I guess. Uh, and the next one, we'll see what happens. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy, boys.